over time, we've taken a much more relational, perhaps more developmental approach and developed that into other sort of guises, if you like. And I think that's been driven. And I'd be interested to know in the chat what you think has driven that. But lots of different things have driven that. But certainly um, a focus on more inclusivity in the workplace, a focus on how we can develop opportunities to create more equity, et cetera, has developed these other types of, these other labels, if you like, in terms of mentoring, like reverse, like peer, like reciprocal, et cetera. Yeah. Um, so when I first looked at, we devised this little diagram, I thought I quite liked it because it shows, you know, it came like this and it sort of evolved into these other kind of options. And there's way more other options. It's just these are two that we're going to talk about today. And I guess if you look at it in that sort of timeline way, that sort of makes sense, doesn't it? So, you know, traditional was, you know, offline, more senior person, then other varieties came. And then we're kind of now more recently, we're talking much more about things like reciprocal um, than perhaps reverse. Reverse was something we've been talking about for the last five, 10 years. Reciprocal is something more recently. And I'm sure Paul will tell us all about his book in the next the next couple of slides. But um, so I think this, if you look at this as a timeline, you know, this is a timeline. But if you look at it in a different way and say one is perhaps a more sponsorship type model, which is a traditional one, and the others are more developmental models, then you can almost see reverse and reciprocal together in a group. 